Macho Virgo, episode one. Yeah, yeah. How you doing? I'm Anthony Tomei. Uh, he's Anthony Tomei, yes he is. And he's Brandon Marsden. That's correct. The fucking Aryan. Fuck you, we already <laughs> talked about this. I am Hitler's favorite son that he never knew. Yep, because you were born too late. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that about a lot of things, so. You feel like you're just born in the wrong fucking time frame? What do you mean? Actually, I don't know about that because... Like, you just feel like you're born too late and, like, you should have been born in a different time frame because of the way you are. Mm. Kind of like an old soul. You know? Kind of like an old soul? Not like an like an old soul, but, like, so young. So not like an old person. So you're not like... <laughs> you know? Like, if, like I was, if I was 45 now, yeah, like you kind of like you okay. feel 45, like, like spiritually, but like you're not like you don't have like you're not 45 as in like you have like cranky old bones or something. Yeah, <sighs> what 45 year old has cranky old bones? Uh, my dad, <laughs> <laughs> my dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god. Fuck. Um, <sighs> hold on. I need to grab my drink. Stall for time. <laughs> stall for time. Um, let's stall for time. Stalling for time. You my drink. Jesus Christ, that's strong. Jesus Christ was strong. Yeah, he had to stay on that fucking cross the whole time. It's because he was God's cool. fucking son. <laughs> I think if you're God's son, you can do anything. Probably, yeah. It's like, hey, don't... Hi, <laughs> I'm God's son. What the hell? We're going to nail you to a wooden stake. <laughs> Until you bleed to death. Until you bleed to death. Only for you to get revived three days later. Yeah, because you're that fucking cool. Because like you're that Jesus cool. Jesus was the first rock star. <laughs> Jesus was the first rock That's star. That's why they came out with Jesus Christ Superstar, the musical. And it's a rock <laughs> musical. Because he was a fucking rock star. Wasn't even born on Christmas. For those of you who don't believe in Jesus, well, that means you don't believe in the power of rock and roll. I really like devil, like rock and roll is the devil's music. Then like, if you think about it, that's like Jesus Christ was a rock star. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. What's going on there? Yeah, Jesus Christ Superstar, rock musical, but then rock and roll is the devil's music. Is Jesus Christ the devil, or was that all a mistake? What if, like... I feel like heavy metal is the devil, like the actual devil's music. It's like, ah, I want to kill everybody. <laughs> Death to the villages. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> Have you ever tried to, like, do that? Like, those growls they do? Like it, it tickles your voice. Yeah, it tickles and it burns at the same time. Mm-hmm. Kind of like drinking straight whiskey. Drinking straight whiskey? And my phone's still goddamn broken. I'm going f- <laughs> to go to Apple and be like, fix this right now. Take it to whatever sweatshop you have to. Just sweat fix it. Sweatshop. Because oh they, 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 have like, they have like a billion fucking sweatshops. They have to. I, it's, no, they don't have. I know they. Ha, I know they have sweatshops. Like it's a proven fact. <laughs> a proven fact. Here we're talking about conspiracy theories on retro vertigo. Sweatshop. Apple has sweatshops. <laughs> proven facts. They, they recruit but also conspiracy theories. They recruit right out the womb. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the Chinese are constantly pushing out eight babies. At Apple's request. They're like, we need more of your workers. We need you more. You will push out more babies. Who will push out more babies for us. We need more. And then the workers. ones they decide they don't want are the ones that get dumped in dumpsters. <laughs> dumpster babies. Prom dumpster Chinese babies. dumpster babies are just old iPhones. <laughs> or just, <laughs> just old iPhones. Old iPhones that Apple didn't want anymore. I don't want this iPhone. Any- I have the, I have the X. Why That's do you have most- Apple? What's wrong with you? Because I'm a fuck boy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like what? I always go by the Apple store in the mall and I'm like, 
why if Apple is like the best company, is that store so big and always full of people yeah. getting their shit fixed? Like, right? Like, where where is the Samsung store or the LG store or yeah the, you know all those other phone companies they don't need to have like, one because their phones last Apple yeah. I fucking take it out the box and it just instantly breaks on me it's I have like, the X mm, it seems it's the like most it's recent your phone fault. it's the most recent phone I have and it's breaking down on me already and I've only had it for like not even a year <laughs> once I remember I got my first iPod actually and I accidentally put it through the washing machine or something. <sighs> it was like my mom did because I was like 13 or something. And so I just left it in my pocket and she would never check my pockets. Which is ultimately my fault, but whatever. <laughs> um, and yeah, I put so it went through the washing machine and it didn't work. So then I tried like returning it. But like, obviously they didn't fall for it because they probably have a million people that are like, yeah, oh, I don't know what happened to it. It just... Like, it seemed that it stopped working. I think it got, like, wet or something, but I don't I know think how. it got wet. I was just, like, I sleep- I I was just like sleeping, and I woke up the next morning, and it was like, oh, it's wet. Oh, my God, what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> like, no, you fucking, like, you know what you did. You went swimming with it. Like, <laughs> I got my first iPod when I was in Florida on a family in vacation. Florida? They're yeah. just like, hey, Anthony, you're on vacation. Guess what? You also get a special gift. iPod? Yes. Yeah. I was also a bratty little shit when I was younger. Mm. You an only child? No, I have an older brother. But they don't care about him. Oh, you're the younger. You're I'm the, the younger young. one. Oh, you're the so youngest. So I get all the shit now. Oh yeah. He got all the shit when he was young, and now I got all the shit. Yeah, and they when treat I was you young. like twice as good. Yeah. <laughs> so like we feel like we fucked up with the first one. So this is you getting preferential treatment. This is you getting preferential treatment? You're not an only child. You have a sister, right? Yeah, but she's older. So I also got preferential treatment. <laughs> I also got. Even though she used to like, I'd get like hand-me-downs from her. And she, she would, for some reason, when she was young, she had like this possessive quality of like writing her name in magic marker on literally every item. Yeah. So I'd get like these Rubbermaid bins handed down from her and it'd just be in big fucking letters all over. Natalie's bin. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie's bin. Ben. I tried scrubbing it off and was like, wasn't coming off. And I'm like, why do you need to write? Like, who's stealing your Rubbermaid bin? Who, who out there wants this? Like, who, who else, is, who like, else needs this? To and what to steal made, it? and even if it was the thing where you just wanted it to be known that it's yours, did you think you were going to have it forever that you needed to write your name on it? Yeah. That you're just going to keep that Rubbermaid bin for the rest of eternity. <sighs> These yeah, my phone's the, broken, uh, so... <laughs> what? But yeah, my phone's broken, so... Yeah. These are the gripes. These, These are, are the gripes. gripes. We're just talking about... Oh, um, man. Do you want to get into the first segment? Yeah, I'm kind of done talking about this shit. I don't know. I'm done talking about Apple before I go there and burn their fucking store down. <laughs> you should. I would be... I would be pleased about I'm going to go to Steve Jobs' I don't know grave. anybody that would be like, no, don't burn down Apple. Like, No, burn down Apple. Burn they can Apple afford down. it. They can get afford it. it. Get rid of it. Just get There's rid money of grabbing it. whores. Honestly, like, they got popular, then Steve Jobs died, and then. It just went to shit after yeah. Steve Jobs died. It was already going to shit, honestly. But now it's like in the ground. Where Kinda Steve like Jobs, yeah, where Steve Jobs is. Yeah. He took it to the grave with him. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. What do you want to talk about? You want to talk about some weird headlines? Let's talk about some weird headlines. That'll All be our right. first segment of uh, the day. What's wrong? Let's see here. Woman crushed and folded by garage door after asking friend. Have you ever held on as it goes up? <laughs> have you ever held on as it goes up? <laughs> no, no, I have not. I have never wondered that because uh, I already know what happens when that. Well, now, I, now when, everyone that ever wondered that, that didn't follow through on it is glad that you did because now they know what happens. And yeah. It is death. It's ultimately death. <laughs> yeah. There's no other outcome. I don't know. It doesn't say whether alcohol was involved or not, but like. Why would you soberly just, like, think that that would, like, would, that thought would... Even when you're drunk, why would you think that? 
I don't know. Like, why would you be by a parking garage when you're drunk? Yeah. Unless you're thinking about drunk driving, which you would die in the first place. So you're thinking about doing a bad thing. So maybe she was going to drive and then she could have killed someone. But instead, she just killed herself. So maybe she did us all a favor. She did us all a favor. Oh, that's messed up. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm saying maybe. So maybe. It's okay. I'm just speculating here. I'm not making judgmental calls. We weren't there, you know. I wasn't there to know, but that just seems that's like <laughs> it's like saying, "Have you ever tried to swallow this entire microphone <laughs> <laughs> whole?" Like I'm pretty sure. I don't think you can fit this thing in your mouth. It's like a, the size of a globe. Yeah. But like. My mouth at least. I've seen people with huge mouths. Yeah. There's people who can fit their fists in their mouth. Oh my. God. Yeah. You have to put your hand. Like you have to put your hand in your mouth and then make a fist inside of your mouth. No. And then you have to. And then to get it back out. You have to then flatten it back inside your mouth and pull it out. Yeah. Like. Like, you'd be like... That's just a lot of work. No. And, like, like you'd, like, want to, like... You'd, you'd gag, but then your fist would still be in your mouth. So you just... I don't know. You'd, like, punch yourself in the back of the throat or something. <laughs> like, like some weird death. reflex. Ch- start choking. It's like some man fucking committed accidental oh. suicide because he punched himself in the back of the inside of the... Because he tried to fi- fit his whole fist in his you mouth. Had to fist fuck his own face. <laughs> fist fuck his own face. Oh my god. Have you ever punched the inside of your throat? <laughs> Fuck. Oh Fuck. man. Ah, oh, Jesus. That's crazy though. Like, it's yeah. not crazy, it's just dumb. <sighs> yeah, it's not I I and apparently this like this man, I guess like to her friend or whatever, uh well obviously was freaking out. Because she... She's dead. <laughs> she's bleeding. She's folded in She's half. folded and crushed up in this garage door. And, like, there's blood dripping down. I don't know. Probably. I imagine it was pretty gruesome. So then Probably. I guess this guy came over and he, like, tried to, like, alleviate the pressure on her neck by, like... The pop by was. like propping up her head, but it probably I feel like just, that. I feel like that made it worse. Yeah, I feel like she. He just kind of. I don't want to say that. I don't want. He probably was trying to. He probably think he was helping. He was yeah, helping. Yeah, but mind. like, there's no like if you're there's you can't. There's nothing you can you, do. Yeah, once that happens, it, like it's I game mean, over, I I mean we don't know enough about people who decide to hang on to garage doors as they go up because it's the first time I've ever heard of it. But I mean, I think we know enough. Oh, is your phone working again? No, it's my dad's calling me, but I can't answer it because my touch screen doesn't fucking work. Yell Fuck at Apple. your dad. Too bad this isn't live God and he's it. not listening. You can't do anything about it anyway. I can't do anything. I can't, I can't do anything. I have to wait till it dies of battery, I think. It's being a stupid shithead. <laughs> fucking hate Apple. Uh, your phone's all mess. Fucking cucked up, though. It's all, it's all mucked up. It's but it was all... working this morning till just fine. It was working perfectly fine. Yeah, but fine. look at it. It's got like 8 million cracks in it. Mine it's because uh, the world mine, sucks. <sighs> mine had a... Like, a, I didn't wear the... Because mine has a cool... Okay, but like... Okay, okay. Why would they make a Here, phone out of glass if people... If they know people yeah, are clumsy you know what as I wanna, fuck? You know what I, else I want to know is why are they like... Okay, so they make the phone out of glass and then they're like, what color do you want the back to be? Black, white, blue, red? Like... And then they give you a case because it's made of glass so you have to protect it and the case is just black anyway. So what the fuck's the point? Yeah, like... Whose dumb idea was to make it out of glass? Like, I just want to go up to them and just fucking give them a Columbia Well, they're like tie. the aesthetic. They're like the aesthetic school, but then you never fucking, like, you have to get a case. Yeah, you gotta, like, you gotta be really careful with it. Or get a fucking, yeah, you have with to With someone be s- like me who's clumsier as but fuck. But you can't be careful. Like, the other day I didn't have my case, and, like, 
I was being careful with it, but then it was all icy on the sidewalk, so I fell, and then it smacked up my phone, and now there's a big fucking... Yeah, but your phone still works, though. Yeah, it works fine, but there's a bunch of scratch marks all over the screen where there wasn't before, and like... I'm like, so even if I'm careful, I still, I fell on the ice because some asshole didn't put salt down at like nine in the morning. Like, dude, like, the fuck? I can't do anything. Like, my dad sent me six text messages and I can't see them because the stupid face, whatever, the face identification doesn't work anymore because his phone sucks. <laughs> fuck. Maybe it just doesn't like your face anymore. It's finally so sick of that pissed. fucking thing. For the amount of money I spent on this piece of shit, and it's it does this to me. finally sick of that De Niro-looking fucking face right there. He's talking to me? He's talking to me? Talking to me? Yeah. Fucking Al Pacino. I'm fucking better than you. <laughs> Where's my cappuccino? <laughs> Where's my cappuccino? I'm Robert De Niro. Where the fuck's my Al Pacino? <laughs> Holy fuck. De Niro, Pacino. Heat was a good Bobino. Movie. Heat Constipino. was a good movie. Did you ever see Heat? No. That's a good fucking movie. Pacino, De Niro. Is it on Netflix? Other people? It might be. I don't I'm know. gonna go look it up. It's good shit. It has like this hardcore like bank scene where they just they rob a bank and then they get and then the cops like stake him out outside and they get in a shootout. It's fucking incredible, especially the surround sound. Shit. Oh. The surround sound? The yeah. The surrounding sound. Yes. Oh. You just hear the bullets. Oh, man. It's an incredible scene. Like, it's cinematically orgasmic. <laughs> cinematically, it'll make you come. Yeah, it'll make you come. Like, if you don't come, then you just, you're... You're not right in the head. You're not real. You don't deserve to live. <laughs> <laughs> live. You don't deserve to live. All right. We should get back to the headlines. Do you have any more? We don't have to get back to the headlines. We can talk about whatever the fuck we want. It's our podcast. Let's just talk about shit because that's what we do on Talk podcast. about shit. Oh. Took a huge shit the other day. Ah, oh. oh, man. Fuck headlines, man. Check out this weird law. Fucking British Columbia. It's illegal to kill a Sasquatch. Of course. Of course, in British Columbia. Of course, because they have those tall ch- ass trees in all those forests. So, like, if there was b- to be a Sasquatch, it would be in BC. It's illegal to not kill a Sasquatch. That's an endangered species. It's an endangered species, indeed. Have yeah, in my fucking one? ass. No, so endangered, indeed. Wow. Yeah, it's an endangered species, and I'm the fucking Pope. <sighs> Are you the Pope? Why would you yeah. want to be the Pope? Holla at me. Because you get to live in a big ass house. Are you kidding me? Did a little children. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't do that. But like, <laughs> you know. Uh, Don't be the Pope. You know, Ferrari gave uh, one of the Popes a free Ferrari, a Ferrari Enzo. A free Ferrari really? Enzo. But the and Pope that's like doesn't a, drive. The car is like worth like $2 million. We're like, we're going to give this car to a pointless person. Like, I'm sure he... Because he doesn't drive. He's The Pope isn't pointless. Oh, the Pope is kind of, what the fuck is the purpose of the Pope? To be uh, the he's main priest in Italy. Yeah. Or right. wherever the hell... Yeah, he's in Italy. Yeah. The Vatican. The Vatican, Italy, Fucking yeah. Rome, whatever, yeah. He's like the main priest. He just like walks out... My parents wanted to go. One He's just some old dude again. that's been a priest for like fifty years, and then it's well, no, like, they changed the it up, and now you stop doing things. They change it up after I think like I don't know how long the term lasts, but like it's like like being like the president. Not it's not like being the president, but like it's the same I think concept. This is they like can only the be it for a certain amount of years. Fifth pope since I've been alive. I don't know. I still, yeah, I in, still thought it was a guy from before, and then I found out it wasn't. I thought it was just one pope, just like. All throughout I remember history. there was John Paul, and then there was John Paul II, and then there was like, the next one's going to be John Paul III, and then, nope, it was fucking Benedict. Like, Benedict. Why? Why did you fuck up the John Paul movement? Like, what's wrong with you? What an asshole. It's like, that's like... The John Paul That's movement. like making a new singer, lead singer of a rock band. Like, stop that. What are you doing? Why stop would you shit that. all over that old one's legacy? 
A queen without a Lambert. That's not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, There's no point. Just, just they just have to play the live music and just do a voiceover <laughs> of his voice. In Alberta, it's illegal to set fire to the leg of a wooden legged man. Of an amputee, like if they have like an amputated wooden leg. Yeah, I was just picturing like a pirate. This is probably a super. Who knows? Like, who has wooden legs anymore? I don't know. Probably like. But if you get a wooden leg, and nobody uh, can, nobody can fuck with your shit. Man. Who is lighting people on fire in the first place? Like, was it like a bandit back in the day? The, like, uh, just some. He's like, wood, wood. I need. There's like a shortage of wood, so they're just ripping off. Wooden yeah. legs of people. Wooden legs. Lighting them on fire. <laughs> I need to cook my ham. I wonder what like, the bandit. Slow cook my smoked ham. The the amputee fire blazer. Holy smokes. Literally. Literally. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Oh. Man, oh man. What else do you want to talk about? Well, what are... I, I just sound like we're getting on a roll, but you keep on, like, just, I don't know. You're like, next segment! Because you're all pissed about your phone. I'm pissed about my fucking phone. Fucking, well, like... <sighs> Apple sucks. Yeah. I thought it was just cold, but then, like, it's no. been here for a while. And it's just... been doing it for, like, a while now. Oh. So it's just cold. I have no idea what the hell to do. In Canada, it's illegal to offend a place with a bad smell. Why the fuck do all those dive bars we go to smell like a bag of diarrhea? Yeah, what the hell? It smells like somebody died in the bathroom. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Smells like somebody died in the bathroom while having like a dead hamster. In in their pocket pocket or some shit. Or or up their ass. Yeah, I was going to say, it was Richard Gere with the gerbil in his ass. <laughs> and it died. Just can not stand Richard Gere's ass anymore. God damn it, Richard. Stop with the fucking pro-ease. Let's see. Like, my phone's just being an asshole. What do you need your phone for anyway? Like, trying to do a podcast. Just on his phone. So mad about his phone. He wants to uh, like, like, anger <laughs> sharks. He likes to masturbate on while doing the podcast. Oh, Cause like, I can only see up to your, like from your chest up. So you, yeah. I'm freaking yakking it right now. I'm yeah, goosing I it. it. I'm goosing, goosing it raw. Goosing it. Goosing away. Carry on my, on my wayward way, son. Fuck you, dude. Why all those dice probably going to smell like shit? Oh, here's another weird headline. An emotional support alligator. This guy in Florida, of course, has an emotional support alligator. A registered Not just five foot long man eating alligator. What emotional support is that giving you? It's giving you the emotional support I of knowing that your arm's going to be ripped off. Knowing you're going to be barrel-rolled in the... <laughs> into the fucking swamp. Into the kiddie pool you made for it. <laughs> in your backyard. Just... Can you imagine just having an alligator like it was a dog? Just walking it? Yeah, just walking it. And there's like this family that walks by with a little girl and it just snatches her and like tears her arm off. Just like one bite whole. Tears her arm off, runs into the sewer. <laughs> Takes you with it, cause like it's way stronger than you. <laughs> Fucking it pops up. <laughs> Hello, Time Georgie. To float. <laughs> Hello. Time man. to float Hello. with your arm, filling it full of helium. What? What? Did you see the new it? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't the sequel coming out soon? Yeah. Yeah. Did you see the one with um? What's his name? The original one with like John Ritter. Yeah. And Tim Carey. Yeah. Tim Carey. Tim Carey. God, he's still alive, eh? Yeah. I mean, like, he looks like like a bag of shit right now. Yeah, well, he's like, he has, like, 
He had a stroke or something. Did he like, actually? Yeah. He's oh, like now I feel in bad. In a wheelchair. Oh, now I feel he's bad. He's like basically like Stephen Hawking. You know? Oh. Like, yeah. He. Yeah. He's really. He's like. He was. A, he, he was a really good comedian. He was a really good actor. Yeah. Comedian. Yeah. He's. He's good. Actor. He did a lot of voice work too. A lot he of voice work. He was a boss. Work. Yeah. A lot of voice work. That's what he's known for. Yeah. Well, Rocky Horror Picture Show. I've never me, seen it, but like. Yeah, me neither. He's like, you know, apparently he's pretty. He plays a. Uh, looking a transvestite. Yeah, he plays a transvestite. Yeah. And he does it well. Because he's just the man. Tim Curry was a boss. Yeah. Curry was uh, a boss. I know this girl who's like. She's like still like obsessed with them and like is like in love with them and like she's like oh if I ever met like Tim Curry like oh my god oh he's so sexy oh my god I'm like he's not sexy anymore he's like he can't like he's not it's not 1975 Tim Curry it's 2019 Tim, Tim Curry. Curry he's rotting away in a wheelchair <laughs> he's suffering right now yeah she's also into that. Dude, uh, that was in a Clockwork Orange, and he was Malcolm McDowell, who's like oh. he was um, he's like that old weird dude now. He was in uh, he played the doctor in those Rob Zombie Halloween remakes. Yeah, yeah. It's like he's not he's not a good looking man anymore. <laughs> he's not a good looking. <laughs> he hasn't man. been since like thirty years. Like this isn't these aren't the people you want. These aren't. Like, this is, he, it's like, like, no, you want the you prime. You want it. You're imagining them like that, in their prime, even though, you know, that's not the case. Mm -hmm. It's like, just no, it's not. That's not right. It's not okay. It's not okay. I mean, they wouldn't be able to do anything anyway. Like Tim Curry can't do anything. He's not like. Probably can't even get it up. <laughs> There's no amount of Viagra that can help with paraplegia. Yeah, but like, does he really need to at this point? Probably he's... Who's he's, he goosing right now? I don't know. I'm sure he gets sponge baths from some hot mirrors probably. Which is more than we can say. Yeah. I still bathe myself and I don't like it. I don't bathe at all. Somebody I smell bathe. like shit. Yeah. I smell like ass. Bathes. Yeah, you do. It's smelling earlier. You smell like a bag of dick. I smell greasy. Yeah, you just greasy. Because I'm a greasy like, wop. Yeah. The typical greasy, greasy, greasy. I'm a fucking guinea wop fuck. <laughs> <laughs> if you saw me, you'd be like, that wop, guy, wop, that wop, guy wop, is, wop, wop. that guy has tomato sauce in his fridge. I'm like, yeah, I do. <laughs> Lots of tomato sauce. You Lots, just... I bathe in tomato sauce. <laughs> <laughs> My whole life, I just wanted to be if identified you ever as get, a If you ever sauce. get sprayed by a skunk. Just call Anthony for tomato sauce yeah. because he stores it all in his fridge. Unless tomato juice, not tomato sauce. It, I'm if you sure bathe it, it'll do the same thing. Yeah, it'll just be more <laughs> gross. You turn into a big pizza if you bathe, if you fucking put tomato sauce. I'll turn into a fucking pizza and eat you. Pizza pie. <laughs> What's some pizza, pizza pie? pie? What's some pizza pie? <laughs> uh, I'll take you to my pizzeria because... I own a restaurant. I own a family <laughs> restaurant. Be like, that's racist, but it's not racist because he's making fun of himself as an Italian. I have a little mustache. And so I'm also uh, making fun of him. I have one of those like curly mustaches, but like a tiny one, like Super Mario. Like I have like a Super Mario mustache. <laughs> Wahoo! Yahoo! It's a me, a Mario, a Mario. Holy crap! It's a me. I have AIDS. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Imagine. Get it, from, me. get it from Bowser. <laughs> Bowser finally captured him. Just fucked him in the ass. Today. And mistaken him for Princess, whatever the hell her name is. <laughs> Princess Peach. Because she's got a nice peach. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well. Ugh. Since we are on the subject of impressions. Since we're impressioning people, impersonating people. How about people, I 
give you an impression to do in a yeah. scenario. Give her here. All right. Matthew McConaughey. At the grocery store. All right, all right, all right. I want some of these uh, biscuits. <laughs> oh, these biscuits taste all right, all right, all right. <laughs> you, uh, you know what? You know what you should drive on Lincoln. Nothing better than a Lincoln. I think I left my kids at the bank. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I drove my link. You drove your link in. I drove my link in here, expecting to have my kids in the back. But I, I soon found out that, that I left them at the bank. All right, all right, all right. There That's my Matthew McConaughey impression. I'll give one to you now, sir. Okay. All righty, I'm ready. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Mark Wahlberg. Oh, shit. Buying sex toys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, you want to sell me this fucking dildo? <laughs> the fuck's going on here? Hey, you know? Hey, you know what? If I had this fucking dildo at 9-11, it wouldn't have fucking happened, okay? I would have fucking attacked those terrorists to fucking dildo right in their fucking ass, and they would have exploded and fucking died. Jesus and then there would have been no planes in the 9-11 fucking buildings, okay? Ground Zero, that's not a fucking thing. Not with fucking Mark Wahlberg, okay? Not with you fucking Mark Wahlberg. Hear me? I'm from fucking Boston. I'm about five foot four, but I'm super muscular. I'm like a really midget on steroids, and I would fuck you up. Just like I did that fucking Vietnamese man when I was 18. Because I fucking hated Vietnamese people, okay? You fucking hear me? Fuck that fucking guy, okay? <laughs> if he's out there. If he's out there... Yeah, I'm glad I didn't fucking make you blind. Because I want to fucking kill you right fucking now, okay? <laughs> I want you don't to come see near my, my fucking Don't come near my fucking kids, all right? All right. Fuck. All right. I'll fucking beat you with a dildo. <laughs> I'll beat you with a dildo. I'll take my wife's vibrator and I'll shove it up your fucking ear. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. Uh, I'll shove it up your ear. <laughs> Alright, you wanna do more? Yeah, yeah this is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Shit. Alright. Alright. Woody Harrelson. <laughs> oh. At a strip club. Shit. Woody Harrelson at a strip club. Trying to. <sighs> Alright. How about Woody Harrelson going up to a stripper? Asking for a lap dance. Or even getting a lap dance. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to do Because he has like a lisp and it's like a Texan accent. Like, yeah. I can't fucking do it. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's so hard, hard. It's hard to do. It's kind of like... It's hard to, it's like it's a hard more, to do. It's, it's like Matthew McConaughey if he had a lisp. Yeah. It's like... Oh. What you should do is take your top off and, <laughs> and let me squeeze them. <laughs> <laughs> Want me to try? Hey. Well, well, well. Let's all just sit down, let's smoke a little weed, do a little recreating, then let's take our shirts off and do a little procreating. You know what I mean? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That's a little bit too much. That's some Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson is a math and con. Did you know uh, Woody Harrelson's dad is a <clears throat> fucking. Famous contract killer. Actually? Yeah. I think this is facts. Yeah. Like, he killed... He, um... Yeah, he disappeared from, like, their home in, like, the 60s. And I guess he had already killed a few people before he disappeared. But, like, a few months later, he, like, resurfaced for the killing of, uh... Somebody or killed a judge or something. No. And he's killed a few and he also said he had something to do with like the JFK assassination. Oh. Which I think fuck. was proven false, but We could be just people rambling and, and yeah. And he also yeah. So yeah, he basically yeah, he killed a bunch he of people. He was a contract killer. Yeah. Yeah. That must be a crazy job. I mean, 
killing people Your for money. Your son becomes a famous actor. And then he's just found... Yeah, no, he found out in, like, the 90s. He was, like, trying to get his... Because his dad went to jail for, like, the... Uh, the killing of a judge that he was hired on by some dude's cousin or something that the judge was going to... The judge was known for handing out, like, really harsh sentences for... <laughs> Drug related charges. Was, so then, was he like? Was he enlisted so like, then, by like the mob or something? Huh? Was he enlisted like by like? Was he hired by the mob? No, uh, he was hired by this, like this dude's cousin who was in for like drug trafficking or something, and mm. it, it was like the day before his trial, and what he hears is had shot the judge at his house. Shot the right at his front porch. Yeah. Just. <laughs> But then, like, the dude's cousin, like, said he had nothing to do with it or something. So he only got, like, eight years. And then Rudy Harrelson's dad got, like, life or something. <laughs> and he was trying to get him out. But then, uh, he died in jail before he could get him released. That's messed up. Later. That's sad. Well, he was still a murderer. <laughs> yeah. But good on Woody Harrelson if you're being a good at for pursuing an acting career and becoming famous. Yeah, well, I mean, he didn't know his dad was a killer before he became Yeah. But like, it's like, good for him for not becoming a serial killer. But he did play. It gives a new meaning to the movie Natural Born Killers. Like, yeah. I mean, he was really, he was a natural born killer. I mean, the, he was a natural. He's perfect he for probably that a natural role. at it. I mean, he didn't know, but he found yeah. out. Yeah. Oh, was it my turn? I'm going to give you one? Yeah, give me one more. Let's see. Let's see what we got. All right, all right, all right. Liam Neeson. Oh. Quickly, quickly. <laughs> and how's he has bum hole cancer? <laughs> 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 Hello, I'm Liam Neeson, and I'm just here because I need to tell you I will find you and announce to you that I have bum hole cancer. <laughs> quickly, quickly, now, there's no time. You have to listen to me. I'm dying of bum hole cancer. Listen now, quickly, quickly. There's no time. So, like, I have no idea what he would do. <laughs> Give me one. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, all right, we're running. We're running well. I don't think there's enough here. <laughs> Announcing <laughs> guest bubble. Don Corleone from The Godfather. Okay. With an itchy bum. <laughs> 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 Come here, my bum. <laughs> there you go. Don't scratch my butt. Come here, my ass. I can't get it. I'm old. You come to me. At my daughter's wedding. Then it's my bum. <laughs> <laughs> you come to me in the day of my daughter's wedding. Just to scratch my bone. Just to scratch my ass. Not even my wife does that. I gotta get one of those back scratches I can just reach behind. Oh, man. It's fucking hilarious. Alright, there's, there's only... There's another name in the in the hat, but there isn't any more scenarios. Do you want to put all the scenarios back in and just? No, nah, I feel like that's recycling. Okay, <laughs> um, is it my turn? It'd be my turn. Yeah, we'll yeah, just make. Okay. A, I'll make up a scenario. Okay. Christopher Walken. Oh fuck! Everyone has a Christopher Walken impression, but it's never a good one. So. Let me let me think. Christopher Walken complaining at the Apple store. 
<laughs> so I've just bought this iPhone <laughs> and I don't understand why I can't get it to work. I had it working the other day and now it's like there was just, I gave it to my grandson and he came back and he said, Chris, not Christopher, Christopher, it sounds like my name is a sneeze, you know. I just say Chris, then Christopher. <laughs> like I didn't sneeze. You sound like you're sneezing when you're saying my name. <laughs> my name. My name is Chris Walken. Cause I'm um, walking. I like to walk in down to the Apple store and complain. That it's not working because it has dust in the charger platform. I don't understand how you have such a small little device that is air sealed and it gets dust inside of it. Do you know what I'm saying to you, Anthony? Yeah. There's there's dust inside of my my apple. I think you need more cowbell. I need more cowbell. <laughs> there's a and the only cure. There's a fee. I have a fever, and the only cure is more cowbell. My phone has a virus, and, and the, the only, only cure. cure there's more, more cowbell. cowbell. That was a terrible Christopher Walken most of the time. I think I got maybe t Christopher Walken announcing he has asshole cancer. <laughs> I've contracted a disease that is cancer inside of my prostate. And if you don't know where a prostate is, it's inside. Of your asshole. Of your butthole. Oh, that was good. Uh, Thanks for walking. Buying sex toys. I got one for you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Nicholas Cage. Fucking... <laughs> going to play a YouTube video but it's at max volume so it's fucking like it shocks his ears ah! <laughs> why is this so why why is this so loud <laughs> I just farted <laughs> <laughs> this smells like shit <laughs> why is this so loud <laughs> have you ever farted so loud that you Exploded with diarrhea! <laughs> the stink! <laughs> not the stink, not the stench. It's in, it's, it's in my eyes! It's in my eyes! <laughs> ah. Have you seen that video uh, on YouTube? Uh, Nick Cage losing his shit? No. It's just a four-minute compilation of every movie where Nicolas Cage just loses his shit. Loses his fucking mind. <laughs> There's one where he's just like, he's just literally just screaming. It's like, ah! <laughs> 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 if anybody Wait, else did it, it wouldn't. Did be you funny. see that? Did you see that movie on Netflix that he started? And it was, um, it was like this virus. It was this virus that, no. what was it? That like, it like, when it showed to the parents, it made them kill their children. Like it made them want to kill their children and hunt them down. It's a movie on Netflix and I watched it and it's the shittiest movie I've ever seen. Is that like <laughs> the one that's like directed by M. Night Shyamalan or something? No. Oh, isn't it like Mom and Dad or something? Yeah, it's like Mom and Dad or something. Oh, like that. yeah. Okay. But no, it has like a cliffhanger of it. Like, it has like, like a, a cool premise. Yeah. No, it does. I heard it, it was bad. It's really bad. It has a cliffhanger ending when it should not have a cliffhanger ending. 
Oh, wow. Like, I think that is an M. Night Shyamalan Ding Dong thing. Shyamalan Ding Dong. M. Night Shyamalan Ding Dong. Every movie I made after The Sixth Sense has the same ending. Twist. Has the same twist. And it just gets more predictable and more contrived. Oh, I like Split, though. Me. Split was really good. I like that. I didn't see Split. It was oh, really wait, good. I did see Split, yeah. The twist at the end was just I liked like, Unbreakable and Split. Yeah, Unbreakable But I good. haven't seen Glass. Uh, is that out? Yeah. It is? Yeah. It's like Unbreakable and Split combined. Yeah, I know. I know. I know yeah. what it is, yeah. Yeah, I feel like you'd have to see both movies, though. For, and it probably to make still, sense. It's probably still not be... I don't know if it could be good. Because, like, those movies aren't... You have to, like, watch them... For them to, for you to understand the twist. I don't know if those movies would like, yeah, because there's going to be a twist, even though I haven't seen it. You know. You know there's going to be a twist. You know there's going to be a twist where Bruce Willis is a ghost. <laughs> where Samuel L. Jackson is, is a snake on a plane. Yes. Tired of being a motherfucking snake on a motherfucking plane. I am tired of these motherfucking snakes. On this motherfucking plane. I'm tired of being inside. What if he was in Anaconda? I am tired of these big motherfucking snakes coming and eating all these motherfucking people. I'm tired of it. But then it was directed by Tarantino, so he just told him to say the N-word after every second sentence. <laughs> It's like, yeah, no, it's fine. It's like, I can't say it because I'm white, but I really want to say it. So I'm going to cast you, Sam. To say it for me. To say it for me. Did you see the, what was it? The Magnificent Seven or something? What was it called? Hateful Eight. The Hateful Eight. The Magnificent Seven was the Adam Sandler one, right? Or there was like an Adam Sandler spinoff of it. No, that was a ridiculous. Six. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Magnificent Seven is an actually good movie from, like, 1960. Oh. It was, like, a Western with, like, Steve McQueen and... Steve McQueen. And the dude from The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. And then they remade it recently with, like, Channing Tatum. Yeah. Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum. Yeah, we kind of a name. Like, how did you... Did you ever consider that you would get used to saying that name? <laughs> Channing Tatum. Like, that's a bizarre name. Like, it seems like it's backwards. Tatum Channing? Yeah. That sounds equally weird, but, like, Tatum sounds more like a first name. Yeah. Like, oh my it's God. so, it's a weird, it's a weird thing. I don't know. It's a weird thing. It's a man. weird thing. It's a little weird thing called love. Oh, I just got a text. I can't get texts. You hitting up karaoke tonight? Yeet. Yeet. You gonna sing some Rocket Man? Yeah. It's for this karaoke bar. Rocket Man. But it just like, ah. Uh, I went there on Thursday night and it just it smelled, smelled like a diarrhea bomb. <laughs> like someone like just a like. Bomb. Someone just like went diarrhea and just. Put, it dripped down their pant leg. Went diarrhea in a bag and just threw it in yeah, the fucking... And made it like, splatter everywhere. Yeah. Like, just... Uh, like, the place usually... It's not a... Like, it's a dive bar. It's... It's a dive bar, and it yeah. smells, and it's full of... It doesn't smell like that all the time. But it doesn't really... It just... It has a stench to it. But, like, we're so but used like, to it. Yeah, like, we're used to it, and we're like, yeah, it's not that bad. But then this was just, like, next level somebody diarrhea all over. Yeah, so there's, like, a homeless man covered in diarrhea, dead, yeah. in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I remember I bumped into this guy at the end of the night, and he's like, he's like, you're a cool guy, you're, you're a cool guy, man. He's like, what's your name? I'm like, Brandon. He's like, oh, no, no way. It's like I knew Brandon growing up and I fucking hated him. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hated him. <laughs> I was like, the, well, sorry, I didn't, like, I didn't not give, that Brandon, I didn't give like, myself that name. And that's not, I don't know. Oh, 
<laughs> it's like uh, I don't think it was me. I don't. I don't think you were the same person. But yeah, good on I you. It's like I apologize for Tim. I don't know. I, I apologize for because we're just you know people with the same first name. They're oh, just this, connected like twins. Yeah. You know, they're the same person. We're all the same person. Like you're, all the other people named Anthony. Yeah, like especially the famous ones. I'm like Anthony Fontaine. Anthony Hopkins. I'm like Anthony Hopkins. Why did you? Why are you Hannibal Lecter? What's wrong with you? Shit, man. I don't know. Fuck. I was just born like this. I was just born this way. <laughs> People still ask him like about that movie. About well, he did play him in three movies. To be fair, but the last one was like over twenty years ago. Yeah. But they still ask him, like, shit about that and, like, think he's, like, a serial killer or something. Yeah, because he went hardcore method acting in yeah, that role. But they're like... I just spilled all over my white pants. <laughs> Look at this. There's white pants. Wow. Look, like, look like I shot myself from the front. It does. <laughs> You'll fit right in at the karaoke bar later. I have a story at the karaoke bar that I've only been there... A handful of times, not a lot, but so um, for those of you that live in Toronto may know that. Don't name the place. Just okay. Well, like, for those of you that know, the bar. The, for those of you that know, for those of you that know us, there's a, you know where we go. There's a man named Xanta. Okay. Yes. I, I can't yes. do the noise, but I mean, like, there's no way to not talk about it. like just. So Santa wants you to talk about him. Yeah, but it's fun talking about him. That's the thing, because <laughs> he's insane. So Santa, he's um, I want. He's not homeless. Is he home? He's not homeless. He's just. He's homeless. Yes. Yeah. He isn't always homeless, but he's homeless now. Most of the time, he's homeless. And he's banned from a lot of places because he's insane. Yeah, he's and like, so, he has mental illness. So, like, not knowing that he was banned from the karaoke bar, I let him in, stupidly on my part, because it was through the emergency door. <laughs> that is actually just glass. a regular glass door painted black to make it look like yeah. it's more than just a thin glass door that you could smash. And so he asked me to let him in, so I was like, okay, I'll let you in, man. I don't know why you just can't go through the front door. So I let him in and he's sitting there at the pool table with us and he grabs Brandon's phone and like, he, I guess he calls like his drug dealer or something on Brandon's phone and he's like, yeah, man, I got the stuff, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes or no. Yes or no. Yes. I got 900 bucks, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the stuff. Yes or no. Yes or no. Yes or no. And the owner of the bar, who usually sits the, who usually sits in front of the bar, notices him, and she loses her shit, and she like wants him out. So she grabs him, and as he's as as he's being escorted out, he's still talking on Brandon's phone. Well, no, he was like, he's like. He's like, yeah, no, I'm so good. I got like 900 bucks, man. No, I'm good for yeah. it. I'm good for it. I'm yes, good or no, for yes, it. yes or no? 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 And then she's like yelling at him at the same time. And she's like physically like put, pulling him and like, like yeah. moving him out. The, like, well, emergency no, door. that like, so she, she's like, I gotta go. I gotta go, man. I'm being kicked out. I'm being kicked out. And she's like yelling at him. And then he went to like, I was like, man, I need my phone back. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. I was like, I only have so many minutes. Well, I have unlimited minutes, but I don't want you calling fucking drug dealers on my phone. Yeah. The only person who calls drug dealers on my phone is me. Okay? It's me. Not crazy homeless people that decide that there's Santa. I don't know. Who's Santa? What the fuck? Is, like, Santa? Like, what is that? What is, was he just like, he's like, I want to be Santa, but that's taken, so Santa? Like, what? I feel like what? he was just on drugs when he made it up. Yeah, honestly. Probably. Probably. Uh, yeah, but, but he yeah, so he was getting so then he's like, okay, I gotta go by. And then he went to hand me my phone back. And he's like, wait, I still need it. And called the guy back. And like, without missing a beat, like, I swear to fuck, it didn't even ring. 
So I'm not even sure he was talking to anyone in the first place. Yeah. But he's just like, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. Not even hello. Just like, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. And then the lady was like pushing him out and he's like, stop touching me. Stop touching me. Get your hands off me. <laughs> he got kicked out. Long, he long, long story short, he got kicked out. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can't say long story short <laughs> after we told, told the long us. story. <laughs> long story short after telling you the entire story. He got kicked out. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He got kicked out because he's crazy. We should have him on here. Yeah. But I feel like that's a risk in our lives. Yeah. Well, we could do it in the pub. Well, we can't do it in the public place because he's not allowed in any public place. And he has, I don't think he has ID. Yeah. Well, no. We could, he. I don't think he has a wallet. The only, like, he wouldn't have a problem talking and shit, but I feel like. We, if we, like, bring him here, he wouldn't leave. Yeah. He, like, I need you to, and then we'd have, uh, we'd have like, to, like, call security. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure they'd probably know who he is, and he's, I don't, I don't think he'd be allowed in here. Yeah, just because his appearance. And the sounds that he makes and the way he acts. Insane, yeah. He would not be allowed in. I mean, he knows what six buzz is, and I'm surprised that. Six. It's like a Instagram page. I don't know. He probably gets Wi-Fi at McDonald's or something. I don't think he has a phone, man. Because like he would use oh, his yeah. phone, right? Well, maybe he was out of minutes or something. I don't yeah. Know. He's got a couple missing teeth. He's got a couple missing cell brains. <laughs> cell brains. Brain cells. Cell brains. Cell brains. Sounds like a... Sounds like a Dragon Ball Z villain. Welcome to Whole Grains. <laughs> Welcome to Cell Brain. Cell Brain. You're doing it again. I will defeat you. I will defeat you. Yeah. Like Cell Brain is the next Bond villain. Hello. Hello. Irish. Petting his pet armadillo. Hello, Bond. Hello. You will not stop me from taking over the world. Isn't there a new Austin Powers coming out? Is there? I heard there is, but that's been in the works for a few years. But I really heard there is. I thought it was supposed to come out this year. Maybe next year. Nick Myers is getting old, though. He's starting to actually look like Dr. Evil. <laughs> they don't need makeup anymore. They don't they need, need more makeup for him to look like Austin Powers. Then. Yeah, they need more makeup for him to look like... Yeah, because he started... He was in Bohemian Rhapsody. Was he? Yeah, he plays one of the antagonists. There's an antagonist in Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. Is it, is it like the human form of AIDS? <laughs> <laughs> like what, else, what else would they be an antagonist? Is it the human form? Freddie of Mercury's AIDS? wife. Is it the human form of AIDS? Like what else? Freddie Mercury's wife, so that he can't like be openly gay or like I don't know. No, I heard she's a nice. Yeah, I heard they. No, they. Yeah, they broke off. Then they weren't. They were never married. No, they were married. Were yeah. they? I, I think so. No, yeah, they, he no. was married to her. They were never married. They were just like really serious, and then they just broke it off. I thought they were married. No, if they were married. I'm yeah, because she gave, sure they were married. But she has like all. He gave her all his. Yeah, because they were like still like really like close friends after. Their yeah, but I swear they were married. No, they weren't married. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But they were they were together. They were like, like obviously together and stuff. Yeah. But then so. I think uh she told or he told her about his bisexuality and Yeah. Uh, they broke it off. But they yeah. still remained friends after and she got everything of his. Like he left her everything. Yeah. He's she still lives in his home with like her family or whatever. Yeah, because like he's quoted as saying like if things turned out differently, it would have been yours anyways. So he just gave it to her. Good for him. Good for him. What a nice man. Yeah. And you know, he had like four extra teeth. That's no. why like he had a huge overbite. He had four extra teeth. Because he had four extra teeth? Yeah. It's insane. That, and like he didn't, he refused to get them fixed because he was he afraid that be able it was to gonna, sing. Yeah, he was sing. afraid it was going to affect his voice. Well, it would have, undoubtedly. Yeah, probably. I used to have an overbite. Yeah, I'd say like when I, 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 when I went to say three, I would say free. Free? 
People always thought I was like one, two, free. They're like, what? What's free? Yeah, there was this kid at my no. old school. No, I mean, th- who free. used to pronounce my name Anthony. <laughs> Anthony. And I wanted to punch him in the jaw. <laughs> Anthony, come here. Come here. Biggest overbite I ever saw, though. Uh, biggest overbite Buck you ever saw? Bucktooth overbite I ever saw. You didn't go to school with me. Oh, God, huge overbite. I remember, like, that kid, he moved schools to, like, the school, like, across the yard. Because we had, like, we had a public school and then, like, a Catholic school. I went to the Catholic school. Right. Oh, you went to Catholic school? Yeah, because I was a church boy. Wow. And then, so the kid went to the... the Catholic the, high school, like, I went to a public high school and the Catholic high school was just full of, like, meth heads. And I was like... I went well, to we both. Need to smoke weed here. <laughs> I went to both public high school and a Catholic high school. I went for grade nine and grade ten. I went to a public high school, and then for the rest, grade eleven and twelve, I went to a Catholic high school. That's insane. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. But yeah, so you the went kid, to double high schools. Yeah, I went to two different high schools. In the same place. No. In the different town. Yeah, but the towns are, like, close together. Oh, okay. So, like, I had to take a bus there, like, a school bus. Like, that came from the school. Nah, man. Yeah, got you. Nah, man. Nah, man. Still nothing, man. God damn it. Phone's still not working, huh? Still not working. I'm over it now. Man. I hope all those pop-ups on my computer don't interfere with this. Well, you got the antivirus, didn't you? Yeah, but it didn't stop the pop-ups. But, like, they went away for a while. I, th- I thought if I just kept the one up, that another one wouldn't pop up. But I'm not but so sure. But I feel sure. like that's not the case. <laughs> yeah, which means we might have to redo this for the fourth time. Ooh, that'll be a burden and a half. Follow me. We'll just talk about different things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's oh. keep it fresh because we've been trying to talk about mostly the same things. But Jake is up. We keep rambling on. Like, obviously, yeah, it's getting a bit tired. Uh, ramble on. Sing my song. What are you going to sing at karaoke tonight? Want to, we're doing a duet, aren't we? I want to do a duet. Yeah, but I'm sure you'll get up more than once. Yeah. Well, it depends on how packed it is. Still. Sing my song. It doesn't I'm matter how on. packed it is. If you like, it goes for like four hours. Oh, does it? Yeah. I thought it was like till like it closed. Yeah, it goes from like ten to like two fifteen. Oh, okay. This is on it like bars. Why do bars have to close? Like why? Because like who's gonna be there at six a.m.? Like they have af- People would say, dude. People go to after hours bars. Oh yeah. Like imagine if a bar just stayed open. Well, that's so why like, they have after hours bars. Because then they'd put the after hour bars out of business. So it's just a, it's just a J. Okay. Yeah, it's just a jig. I remember I up. used to like frequent this bar and then there'd be other people like that bar would close and then the bar was across like a block over was open for like another half an hour after that. Mm-hmm. So people would just bar hop to that one for the last half hour. This is like a hole in the wall though. Not the bar I frequented, but like the, the one that people would go to after. They were so slosh, they didn't care. Yeah. But it, it would smell like cat piss. And I mm. swear I saw, like, a rat go across the floor one time. Yum. I was like, yes, give me dinner. Right give now. me dinner. Give me that drunk munchies at 2 a.m. Oof. Man. I knew this guy who was, like, he was my friend and, like, a, a co-worker. And when I first met, like, he has this thing where he, like... He would try to, like, impress you with, like, a story that's just, like, completely fabricated. So he was, like, we were walking one time, and he's, like, man, you see that McDonald's? He's, like, I got super drunk one time, and I paid 20 guys 20 bucks each to jump up and down on it. So it acted like a car, and it set off the fucking 
the weight thing and the drive through so that it went off so I could order a cheeseburger. I'm like, so you spent 20 bucks times 20 is $400 to buy like a $2 cheeseburger yeah. at 2 a.m. because McDonald's was closed. So I was like this, like, I was like, if that's true, that's fucking retarded. And if that's a lie, what made you think that's a good lie that would impress yeah. people? <laughs> this makes you sound dumb. <laughs> like, it makes you sound like a liar or a dumb piece of shit or a dumb lying piece of shit. There is no... I was playing um, this video game called FIFA and this guy... And I lost the this game. video game called FIFA? FIFA. <laughs> wow, I've never heard of FIFA before. Yeah, I was playing FIFA and this guy had this sick ass team and I lost the game and he messaged me after and he's like, I spent $3,500 on the game. Fucking asshole. Get on my level. And so I was like, I dude, this meme that was like, you spent $3,500 on a video game. Kill yourself. Yeah, <laughs> so this meme that was like, he's like, you beat me on Xbox, you piece of shit. Now I'm going to kill myself. It's like, you're going to kill my yourself because I beat you at a game. It's like, fuck off. No, you're not. Da, 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 da. And then the next text was like, Hi, this is Billy's dad. Did you know Billy? He's like, so you found out your son just killed himself and you logged on to his Xbox? <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing you do? Like, uh, Did you know Billy? It's like, come on, man. That's the first, if your son actually he's playing, died. He's playing Call of Duty. I saw this live leak where like this like weeboo kid actually like shot himself like, on live stream. Oh. With, like, a huge-ass, like, automatic fucking rifle. With, like, yeah. a shotgun. Yeah. Oh. That's not a pretty sight. No, there's a lot of videos like that on the internet, and people watch them. And it's called dark web stuff. It's all that on the dark web. And it's, you on, can, it's on Live Leak. Live Leak isn't even the dark web. Yeah. If you can... There's you been can murders find, on, like, Facebook Live. Yeah. I've seen... I've actually seen a murder on Instagram, on yeah. Instagram Live. This guy got shot a bunch of times and went up to his body and just. And I was like, "Oh, that's not nice." Wasn't that one rapper XX Tentacion? XXX Tentacion. Tentacion. He, he wasn't was shot on like Facebook Live or something. No, no, no. No, they recorded it though and they released a video. It was like, it was like a surveillance camera thing. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. I know. So, like, um, saw it though. Right? Yeah. It was like surveillance camera. You didn't see like the blood or anything. You just saw them like the no, guy like go off. you saw up. like it go off and like smack the window or something. Yeah. But the window was down, sorry. Yeah. And then I know, I remember after that, there was like people like around him with their phones out recording. And like. Yeah. Looked recording at like, him being dead. Yeah. And I was like, come on. Wasn't he like 22 or something? Yeah, it was young. Just surprised me. I heard he was an asshole though. Probably. Did he, like, go to jail for shit and he talked about, like, how much of a piece of shit he was? Like, he just, like, bragged about shit in his rapping or something? Like yeah, that. he bragged about... Like, how he, like... He did. was, like... No, no, no. He, bra- he, like... He used to talk about, like, all, like, peace and, like, being, like, don't judge anybody and shit. But then, like, there's videos of him, like, beating the shit out of people. Yeah. Just for, like, because they, like, owe him money or something. Or, like, something stupid. Yeah. He's not a good person. But, like, I feel like all those rappers aren't good people. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, you can't... Somebody has to stay on the mic. You can't take a drink of black corn and kill me. Uh. Whatever. That's what we do here. We're just taking big fucking breaks. And we're drinking. You can also you can also just listen. It's a, it's a lot of a better yeah. You can listen to us drink while drinking because it's a much better experience to listen to this drunk. Yeah, because that's how we're taping it. Drunk, drunk, a little bit tipsy. Oh, I mix that. Ugh, that's a weird taste. What you mix the? Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. You mix the uh with the uh. and the. Uh. And it becomes, becomes double, oh, how long have we been recording? I don't know. My phone's fucking broken. An hour and 10 minutes. Jesus. Time flies. Time flies when you're drunk having fun. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't drink and drive. Arrive alive. Arrive alive. Drive sober. So that's our PSA. Uh, this, yeah. is this is Matt. This is mothers against drunk driving. This is mad. Uh, motherfuckers against drunk driving. Motherfuckers against drunk driving. So uh, don't go driving your dump truck into the fucking Skyway Bridge. Skyway Bridge. You asshole. This isn't Grand Theft Auto, okay? There's, There's a people. guy who did that. If you like this dump truck driver from Brampton, who was like got in his dump truck and he was still smashed from like the night before, and drove with the like the bat like the. The guys in the back? The, no, like, you know, like a dump truck. So like, yeah. it lifts up in the back. Oh. And he drove with it up. <clears throat> and he just smacked into the Skyway Bridge and, like, took out a bunch of fucking cross beams. Oh, yeah, I seen that. And he took down some signs, didn't he? Didn't he take down some road signs? I think he might have. I don't know. I think I've seen that. I've yeah. seen a video of, like, this, like, 18 Yeah, it was, it was, it was like, closed for, like, two days. Yeah. So it just... I saw a video of, like, this 18-wheeler in, like, like California. Like, it was too large, and, like, it took out, like, a road sign on the highway. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. I've yeah. seen it where it takes out, like, an overpass. That's crazy. Like, why? You need to know, if you're driving that truck... Well, you shouldn't be shit-faced. Yeah. And driving. You shouldn't be... Uh, yeah, just don't be drunk at your job. Just, well, <sighs> depends on what job you do. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it depends on what you're doing. But it's, it's not, it's not a good thing, you know. There's it's not some, a good thing to put some, uh, other people's lives at risk. No, nah, I don't like it at all. Um... I don't agree with it's it. Not, it's not a good thing to uh, it's put your own life at risk. See what it's like to hold on to a garage door while it goes up. <laughs> it's fine. That's fine. This is actually our advice segment. We're giving you good life advice. We're giving you good life advice here. Um, oh, did you know? Don't masturbate without lotion. <sighs> well, I mean. Because, like, if you have foreskin... It'll get dry, and then it'll crack, and you'll get cuts, and it hurts. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's very true. Because it happens to me. <laughs> wow. Confess really All of a sudden, the advice segment became a confession, confession segment, segment. But it happens to me. All right. You read any good books recently? Um, I was born in 2000. I don't read books. <laughs> I don't read books either. What makes you think I read? <laughs> yeah, true, guy. you illiterate piece of dog. I'm an illiterate garbage. piece of guinea fuck. Guinea fuck? I'm a dementia fuck. Dementia fuck. I'm a dementia fuck. A dementia fuck. Define that. Um, It's someone who has dementia and they're an asshole about it. <laughs> <laughs> How can you not be an asshole if you have dementia? Exactly. You're just dementia a super fuck. nice lady. Hi, hope you have a great day. So nice to see you. Five minutes later. Hi, hope you have a great day. So nice to see you. Exactly. You're a dementia fuck. And then you become an asshole, even though you're saying such a nice thing. It's like, I feel like, well, I feel bad for them because, do, do you they know not? what my mom said? What? She works in a, she, she works in like a, like the, the, uh, retirement living like assisted living like stuff. an old folks home yeah she works yeah. in that industry mm -hmm. and she's like so she came home one day and she's like no she didn't come home one day she was just like talking about it one day and she's like i've seen so much of it she's like honestly if i get dementia just drive me to the skyway and just t tell me to jump off <laughs> oh my god! I was like, "Mom, Jesus!" She's like, "No, like I, I'm I, I don't want it. Like I'm I've seen serious. that. I don't want it. Like just take me to a bridge and let me jump off and just dump me." I was like, "Oh my god!" 
That's bravery right there. <laughs> Apparently people jump off, uh, like, you know the Skyway, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like the Burlington Hamilton Skyway. Uh-huh. Apparently people, like, jump off there all the time. And it's just never reported. It's like people on the subway, too. People jump in front of the subway and shit. Yeah. But it's, it never gets reported. But, like... Like, they, it probably happens quite... Like, it happens quite often. Yeah. You think it happens here a lot? I remember I was dating this girl, and she's like... She's like, I just got off the... F- <laughs> she's like, I just met with my dad, like, yesterday. And he's like, the first thing he said to me was like, John Smith jumped off the Skyway today. It's like, nice to see you too, Dad. <laughs> John Smith fell off the Skyway today. <laughs> jumped Jesus off the Skyway. Christ. It's like, hey, Dad. Like, I worked for him for 20 years. Okay. Okay. Um, I just thought you wanted to, like, have a nice conversation at, like, the coffee shop, but, uh, all righty. He breaks down. Breaks down. Do you want to pay for my meal? Dear God. Oh. That's a terrifying sight. Yeah, like, that you just, like, nobody, like... Just, like... I once have, you get that water, it's, like, like cement. Oh, yeah. That shit's cement. Yeah, like, from that height? Yeah, you hit that. Yeah. That shit's cement. Yeah. You're not like it. You're, like I've done belly flops off my diving board, and I'm like in pain after. I'm like, oh, yeah. Like imagine like that, like like a hundred, like two hundred feet high. Probably yeah. Way more. Uh, man, that would hurt. It'd be gnarly. Well, you wouldn't feel it. You'd be dead. You'd just be dead. Yeah, you might die before you hit hit impact. You think? Because you might... Because, like, the air would be, like, ripped out of your lungs. Like, you might suffocate in the air. Mm. Yeah, because of how fast you fall and shit. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I'm surprised that guy... You know that guy that, like, jumped, like, that sk- sky dough from, like, the... From, like, the Earth's hemisphere or something? What? You well, he that? had, like... Oh, yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. He had, like, an oxygen tank or something. I know, but, like, I'm surprised, like, didn't burn up. Yeah, like, well, he had... he had No, he had, like, a suit and stuff. Yeah, but still, going on that fast. Oh, yeah. I'm sure he, like, caught fire. Uh-huh. But, like, caught he was suit. protected. Probably like a fireproof He suit. wore protection. He wore Let protection. Let that be a lesson to Remember, you. wear protection. Wear <laughs> protection so that you don't have people who jump off the skyway. Yeah, and unplanned births. And you're not having dumpster babies like those Asians that work at Apple. That work at Apple in their Apple sweatshops in Bangkok. Apple sweatshops in Bangkok. Yeah. Bangkok. (laughs) Bangkok. (laughs) Holy fuck. Oh, man. I want to go to Bangkok. But I don't want to fuck a hooker there with a penis. I want a Bangkok. <laughs> hey. Hey-o. Hey-o. What a fucking joke that is. Well, you know what? I think this has been quite the adventure. It has been, especially we, for our yeah. first episode. For the first episode, there's been all sorts of crazy stuff. Been all, we have our ups, we had our downs. Some of it may offend you, probably most of it will. But, but the views expressed on today's co- podcast are completely um, not condoned by anybody except the people speaking in this podcast. Yes. So uh, burn all your Apple products. Burn all your Apple products. Piss on Steve Jobs' grave. Yeah, I won't go that far. I mean, do what you want, but... <laughs> no, nah, don't do that. Steve Jobs, I mean... He kind of seemed like an... I don't know. He kind of seemed like an asshole. No, he was an asshole. Like yeah, he was a fucking asshole. It was documented that he was an asshole. <laughs> yeah, he was a fucking asshole. Yeah. But you know what? So is Bill Gates, and he's a fucking million billionaire. Gazilli, bazillionaire. Like, holy shit. Yeah. That was fun. But most people with money are assholes. Except yeah. Oprah. She's Except Oprah. But she's kind of like... 
I feel like she can't be an asshole. She can't be an asshole. No, she can't. She Same can't. with Ellen. No. What if they're secretly assholes? They probably are. Behind closed doors. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. At all. Everybody's got to be a bit of an asshole. Like, come on, let's just. If you want to get what you want, you gotta be an asshole. That's kind of the human condition. Yeah. Like, if you want to get what you want. Tell me, Ellen and Oprah haven't stepped on a few toes along the way to the top. Yeah. Or now they're now they're always like, they're like, uh, you know, they're like George Clooney, one of the nicest guys in Hollywood. (laughs) One of the nicest. They're not a nice guy in Hollywood. They're just like one of the nicest. So like. A lot less of an asshole than most of the people there, but yeah. still a fucking asshole. Still a fucking asshole. One of the nicer people. One of the nicer assholes. He's got more of a, like, you know. He's got more of a small asshole. Yeah. He doesn't have, like, a... He's, he's, not, he's, he's, he's not a big asshole. Yeah. He's, it's not a gaping asshole like Harvey Weinstein or something. Yeah. Who's about to have a gaping asshole once he goes to jail. Ooh. That was good acapella. Yeah, that was that was uh that was in uh Unison. In harmony. Yeah, we matched it. Ooh. Ooh. Getting primed up for karaoke right here. Ooh, yeah, the Retro yeah, yeah, Vertigo yeah. podcast. I'm excited. I am excited. Excitable excitement. Yeah. Is uncontained. Uncontrolled excitement. I told Liam that we're going to the karaoke bar. And I was like, yeah, I'm with Anthony in my room pre-drinking. And he's like, all right. It's like, that means you can come here too. (laughs) That means... I just want you to know, Liam, that if you listen to this, you're a fucking little midget troll piece of shit. (laughs) Love you, Liam. (laughs) Love ya. Oh. Oh, man. Okay, so uh, I feel like it's it's been a mi- hour and twenty two minutes, but like I want to get it in a nice round number, like one twenty five, one thirty. Mm. So like we kind of need to keep talking, just because I mean this is kind of trash at this point, but I feel it's so weird. It's just, this whole thing's been kind of weird, so maybe we should just end it right now. Yeah, because if we just keep talking, we're gonna have to edit most of it out. Well, I'm probably not. Well, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, we just yeah. This is this has been an experience, a retro and uh, we'll experience. make sure uh, if anybody listens to this, we're open to any suggestions you have. Send Please us. Please let some us stuff. know what you liked and what you didn't like, and any questions, concerns. You can email us. Uh, check out the Facebook page, Retro Vertigo. Uh, podcast mm-hmm. uh we're on twitter instagram mm-hmm. um, i think about that's the cream of the crop right there yeah we're and our email is uh retro vertigo podcast at gmail.com ba-doom, ba-doom. or comment send us a message through facebook yeah Do whatever you want send us your opinion on facebook if uh yeah if you uh don't send it to us personally because uh, we're our characters are much. We're not. We don't condone our own actions. On yeah, this we don't. Con- we don't condone our own actions. We don't we- condone our own actions. This is just. This is the characters we play. And we've had a couple of drinks. <laughs> and we've. Well, no. This is just characters we play. Yeah. We don't condone our own actions. So check us out on there. We'll make sure to get this out to you soon. All right. We All have right. been Retro Vertigo. I am Anthony Tomei. And he is Anthony Tomei. And he is Brandon Marsden. I'm Albino. <laughs> and you are a walk. Good you're night. An, you're an Aryan. <laughs> good night. Have a good one. Fill my... Try to stay! Oh, wizard!